This'll just take a sec, sir. How much time remaining? Don't worry, folks. Anything All right. can still happen. Good job, sir. Thank you. Excuse me? Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance races. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. Oh my god, I'm stressing out so much right now. Careful. You can burn these tires off after 10 laps. It's a huge deal to manage that in this heat, and these drivers know it. Can you believe the nerve of that ticket tap? I mean, only the pretty part. Yeah, Let me remind you, this is different from Grand Prix Why don't you try in that, that it's all, all about which team can go the distance. Fuel efficiency and reliability, that's the name of the game. You see that red car, 47? The that's the Kronstadt race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. That's Bruno Diaz, came in third last year on this track. He'd want to do better this time around, and I wouldn't be too surprised to see him on the podium at the end of the day. Listen, Miller, I don't yeah. care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the road key interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. You double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck, Grace. Slipprint, you got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well, and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. when they brought him back in and say he's not in place. I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving erratically that last lap before the accident. You think anyone, you know, helped you make the accident happen? Wouldn't be the first time during these races. 
Remember two years ago when that driver released the unicorn totally at home? Huh. Coming in. Everyone on your stations now. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. some sort of vitamin hydration boost, normally reserved for the drivers. Fix me right up. What? Jim, it's me. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox. Over there. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. Uh, anybody there?
Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the up. How you been? Mr. Mendez? Right this way, I sir. Demoing the next big thing coming out of Kronstadt, but only to big money people. Oh, uh, hello? HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety, or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data. Alice will do the rest. Target acquired. WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Make my day. Just think how much more we can accomplish together. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'm old fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site robotics lab. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. Hello there, sir. So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, just let me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. 
Long time no see. I mean, we're able to track every piece of meaningful data produced. It's a full lowdown on pretty much every process in and around Sierra Knox's body. Say what you will, but Robert Knox is a genius. Just think, we're practically capable of Are those eye drops, 47? Looking over Knox's medical files, I see a prescription for medication for chronic dry eye syndrome. Apparently, he's sensitive to low humidity areas. Like rooms with air conditioning turned to high, for instance. Hey, get a load of Einstein over here. She doesn't know. My understanding is that Mr. Knox is provided for some long.
what's happening. The, the pain! Oh. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon.